once again, and we are starting a new Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank. Um, the first one, actually, what we're going to be doing is actually doing Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, and 3. And also Deadlock and the others. We're, this is a side project, so it may go delinquent for a while. This is also to keep interest because I know Mugen Souls isn't everybody's bag, so I'm going to actually, uh, you know, get this started. I had a few failed recordings. I deleted my saves. Uh, because, uh, the sounds, uh, they're really loud. So I hopefully got the mix right this time around. I hope. Let's hope. If not, I'll, I'll adjust if they're too low. But I, I better have it low than not have it at all. Wait, I think it is a little too low now. Hmm, I'll adjust it. Also, I will attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Also, I will uh, turn on subtitles. You can't do it on the main menu. I guess it was a forethought and they forgot about it to put it on the options when you begin. So, yeah, we'll work around that in a minute. I played Ratchet and Clank when I was a little kid, so it, I was, what, maybe 14, 15? I think, maybe around there. I'm 26. <laughs> Whoop, right through his legs like a hockey puck there. Um, so, yeah. I, I do have to fix this, though. Yeah, I'm definitely fixing it. Um. Sorry about the sound. We'll fix it. I just don't want to be too loud either. The mix was horrible. But I, I, Ratchet and Clank actually was a beloved series to me, actually. I really love Ratchet and Clank. Um, so, uh, a few things failed me. All for one being one of them. A frontal assault looks okay. I like deadlock. People hate Welcome deadlock. The yeah, skip you. Um, so I know how to do the skip because I already did that. Oh yeah, I said I'll fix this. Let me shut up for a minute. I want to look at my mixer here. Okay. First off, we need subtitles on. Second off, um... Mm, let's try that. A little bit more sound. Mm, I like what my mixer's doing. I think that's a good mix. Um, I might want to actually jack it up a little more. So let me uh, do that in five seconds after I'm done bashing these crates here. What you want to try and do is actually uh, collect a lot of uh, bolts. And also gold bolts, but... Let me actually get this right here. Oh, mmm... I guess we could do that, and just a smidge. Uh, yeah, I like what's doing right now, so it's good. I think it's good. Of course, you could comment about the in-game sound if you want, and I'll see if we can make changes, but I was just, it was drowning me out. It was just like, what? You couldn't even hear me. No. You. Um, what we want to get is the bolts, because, uh, what it's going to help us do is, uh, buy stuff. Uh, I really want to get the Rhino in one go. I think, uh, they actually, this is the only game that actually lets you, yeah, skip that. Look at that, I did that. It was telling me I could skip the messages by hitting fine, which I did. Um, this is the only one, uh, that lets you get the Rhino before you beat the game, I think. It just pretty much, it's a ridiculous number, too. It's really ri a ridiculous number. And if you buy most of the stuff, you're not going to get it. The Rhino is so badass, though. It just it really, really is. Yep. You can do that. You can do this right here. Bam. But that's alright. Um, 
Yeah, I guess I'll... Oh, I missed a few. Oh well. That's Whenever you yeah, it's pretty much health. That's what it is. Nanotech. Just in case you guys haven't played it. Oh, there you go. This game has good humor. I like that about this game. It really keeps you interested and engaged. Or at least it was good humor. I, actually, the ending was good. I actually thought that was funny, even though it was more... I think 1 and 2 were more... Actually, all of them have like a little bit of adult jokes in there that, you know, you, you want to pick up. I'm not sure if uh, uh, Quirk's testing of uh, some that vibrates uh, is uh, this one or the next one. I don't know. But it's fine. Um, Let's go here. Uh, I think now I got actually this. Let's actually use this. This weapon is godsend. It's actually really good for now. Um, we're probably going to skip the first weapon we can actually buy. Because it's not that great. I mean, your uh, most things you need to use your wrench on, you, it, that weapon was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it interrupted me. Um, normally would uh, use it to replace what your wrench can do because it's like fire. And it's pretty good. It's actually good for like killing weak things around you in a hairy, but your wrench can do that. I mean, there's no real reason to have it. And it doesn't help that it's close range. And really, all you need are the far range weapons in this game. So, really, it's the, the strategy is just to skip that thing, because you don't need it. Not you. Not you. Not you. And you. This is mid range, and you really don't want mid range too much, so. Let's get this. And let's destroy this. Whoop. Bolts. Um, I think I'm leaving pretty good with a good amount of bolts. All right. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! And there Even we go. Those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal.
This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. God save I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. I'll say in a minute. Uh, uh, I can't actually fit anything in so this. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not. Subtitles ain't working this. here. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> man. Don't see what's so funny? Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat. You, you, you need. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. First, you gotta watch Ra Ranchit's perfect landing here. Very perfect. Oh, oh. Uh, Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Oh yeah, and also this, uh, what I was talking about, uh, yeah, I got the HD version of this, which would be the, uh, Ratchet and Clank collections, uh, but Deadlock, when I play it, when I get around to it, is not gonna be HD, because they haven't redone that one. Well, technically, I could stretch the screen. I mean, it would look not as good, even though technically that's all they really did is stretch it. I mean, may maybe brighten a few things up. They really didn't try and touch it too much, you know. They, this is just like cheaply porting it to a uh, PS, you know, the PS3. But you know, as you can see with the movie files and stuff, I could actually probably even stretch that and butcher that up. But anyway, it's fine right now. Um, right now I'm just going this way to get more uh, actually uh, bolts. So I could actually smash, I believe, this one. There you go. I played in this level. So many times now on failed recordings alone, I know that. This. Alright, now we gotta take care of these guys. Look at. Their aim is so good. Wow. There we go. Yo, there we are. Um. Uh. Yeah, the bolts in there. There we go. There. Wait, I'm not gonna go down here. No, I can go down. There was no point to go down early. I believe you get uh, a breathing apparatus in this game that allows you to stay underwater for a pretty darn long time. I'm gonna actually go this way because of this. Really, you don't want to play around too much on these areas, because there's really not much on these lips. But whatever. I mean, the lip of whatever these things are. Hydropon? I don't know what the hell it is. But, we can pretend it's a hydropon. And here. And the bird is the word. Take that bird. And you too. Can I break these? Uh, that I can break. Y the reason you break these is because you get extra bolts. They're like hidden bolts, pretty much, is what they are. Um, oh yeah, I was wondering why they had a little pool of water. I guess it's just for aesthetics. Um, or aesthetics. Probably said that wrong. Aesthetics. Which, I think aesthetics is right. I think I just like pronounced it. Anyway, it's alright. It's all, it's all good. Go over here. 
But I played one, two, three. I am owner of all of them uh, for the PS2. It's because it was such a great game. Um, the difference between t this and two is um, RPG elements are on two, where you actually level up your gun. Uh, this, your weapons don't change, um, except for one little tidbit. I think you only get eight eight weapons here. Um, you get another weapon when uh. What's it called? Uh, ooh, and I failed that jump. Oh, glitch. Can I make use of it? Thank you. There we go. So I don't have to wait. All right, good. Lovely glitch. Oh, and I almost failed there. All right. Oh well. Let me just get out of there. Um, the RPG elements um kick in actually on uh on two. Um, but there's actually gold bolts to collect here, right? And you can actually upgrade your weapons one more time to their ultimate. They actually had an ultimate still. Just, you didn't have to grind it up. Which, I actually like the grind, because it's an incentive to actually... Um, yeah, I don't want to fall down there, I would suck. I almost did, though. Alright. Uh, it actually gives you a reason to use some of the lesser and actually crappier weapons. Which, actually, most of them become not so crappy, except for maybe the flamethrower. It's kind of still... Still crappy. I mean, the, um, one gives you freeze. The other one made it like a freaking meteor thing or whatever. I forget what it's called. That's how long I played this uh, game. But I know was it three that actually had that gun that actually fired a lot of bullets, and you would actually play a uh, play a uh, what it was called? Uh, was it Beethoven something? Dun, 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 dun. No, it may not be that. But it was, it made the weapon epic. I mean, it was like, so great. Um, uh, here we are. So anyway, this is a side project. Uh, it's also to keep some interest in when I'm doing Mugen Souls, you know. At least they have something else to look forward to. Maybe Ratchet and Clank. Which eventually I'll work. I don't have um t uh, Ratchet and Clank uh, Tools of Destruction. I actually rented that. So I actually got to go and buy that. Um. My brother had Gamefly at the time, and I remember I did Tools of Destruction there. I got cracking time. I do have that. Um, Tools of Destruction was a meh to me. I mean, it was okay. I mean, it was uh, suitable compared to All for One. Don't buy All for One. That is total shit. Um, Frontal Assault, when I played the demo just recently, it looks alright. Nothing um, hardcore on the story, but you know. Yeah, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. Alright, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking! The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. All right, I will buy that in a minute. Let me explain some. No, screw you. I already know about that. All right. Um, let me explain some about the plumber. The plumber breaks the fourth wall a lot, and he actually gives it. He actually like hints that he knows more than you, and you have a bigger purpose and all this stuff. And yeah, it still never answers how he gets his information. It's like, yeah. But he, a lot, he's a beloved character from many people that actually played these games. I like him too. Was he absent in um, 3, I think? Geronimo! He was Did definitely. You just slide down a sewer pipe? Yep, and you're about to after this video. He was definitely absent on uh, Deadlock. Mayday, mayday. This is the and solar Tools ship of Destruction. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Back down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out.
Gadgetron. Yep, skip that. Uh, info bots allow me to go to different places. Um, which is we already know. Um, I'm not sure if the first game has a museum. Oh, actually, let me check here. Nope. You can actually find the Easter eggs around here. Um, the first game had a museum. I'm not sure if the first game has a museum. I'm sure the second and third do. Um, I don't know if Deadlock. I, I gotta look this up. But we'll definitely visit the uh, museum. Whether I beat the game or not, it'll be like a little bonus video of the museum. I promise. But anyway, let's get down here. Right now, I don't know where the gold bolts are. I gotta actually uh, play a little more to figure that out. <clears throat> oh, and I accidentally hit myself because I'm rushing around. Alright, take care of these guys here. Just going up big time. And here. Come on. Oh, eat it. There we go. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't let me turn my camera. There we go. I hate how it's kind of uh, slow, the camera. Um, in other uh, Ratchet and Clanks, they were a little bit faster, more, more, more snappier, where, you know, a lot more snappier where you're looking and everything. I think there is a snap point for that, too. In 2. Where you can snap it to the point you're looking, because it's kind of a pain in the ass, let me be honest. Like, I could just wonder there's, like, a gold bolt up there or something, I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Oop. Look at that, they can't shoot for shit. Look at that. There we go. Got all these bolts here. Is that it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I need more of these. There we go. Eat it. Go. Five seconds. I'm gonna go the other way in a minute because I gotta pick up uh, some of the lovely, lovely uh, bolts that I will need to buy more weapons. Here, there, everywhere. I'm not sure if you have the the com the combuster or whatever the hell it's called in this one. Probably one of my favorite weapons. It is the weakest weapon, but it's the most versatile weapon, and you always have a lot of it. And that's what I love about it. Um, also, there's, there's these. I forget what they are. I'll have to figure that out. It's been a while. I think that's uh, secret, secret stuff, like maybe gold bolts? I don't know. I know there's gold bolts in there. There was always gold bolts present in almost all Ratchet and Clank's. Know what I said almost. But, uh, alright, so let's get up here. We got a holy bridge here. Somebody send in the Pope. Whoops. Never mind, he seems to be vacant right now. Ooh. Go here. Get. Or maybe it's not vacant anymore. I don't know if the seat's vacant. All I know is the other one stepped down. And, you know what? Pope's supposed to be, uh, you know, normally takes it to the grave. I mean, oh, I'm too sick to do my duties. What duties? I mean, they take it to the grave. You're supposed to die in that position. <laughs> Not a religious guy. Uh, in fact, uh, I won't even get into that. But, but, <laughs> really. When this has that stopped anybody before? And stop any of the other popes holding their position. It's just the excuse. That's what I think it is. Anyway. Go pick up the bolts on the ground here. Oh, 
there we go. Let's make our way. Ooh, there's a boulder over here I missed. Meh. Wasn't that much. One thing you can't do in uh, this one, uh, I think two you are able to, is actually uh, switch uh, weapons on the fly, which actually I like actually pausing it. Because in heavy situations, anyway. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. Is it translated? Has this ever happened to you? Nope. Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. I hope you guys can hear it. Uh, if Do not, you know we'll adjust it. Is? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates... All right, that's... Uh, yeah, I don't really care about that. Got our shit here. And, uh... Yeah, I think we gotta see Helga and get, uh, helicopter training, I believe it is, or was it Slingshot? It's both, I guess. I think we get both in that level. Eventually, the helicopter becomes a jetpack. Nowadays, uh, the, the Ratchet and Clanks lean away from gadgets a lot. Or make the gadgets do crap. Look what I did. It will come down, I believe. Yep. There we are. That would have been a sucky glitch. Um, I'm not sure if I can go in that river, but I'll find out, you know, out of the video. Um, that's good in the next level, and I will probably end it there. When we get to it, of course. And we're going to here. And yeah. Metropolis Ho! And obviously they put this in here for load screen pretty much. It's a uh, rinse and repeat. And there we are. We are here. And this pretty much includes uh today's video uh i hope you enjoyed it um and see you later guys and bye